What is a managed Kubernetes as well? So we should probably clarify that. Yeah, it's pick your major cloud provider. The big three all have what they call managed Kubernetes. And essentially it is kind of two things. One, under the hood, the Kubernetes API, if you were to run your own cluster in your own data center, you are responsible for that instance or multiple like VMs that manage the API server and the control plane. Managed Kubernetes, you don't have that ability. Your cloud provider is responsible for that. They give you the API. They give you some configuration. Yeah, there's switches and toggles that you can change as you bring your cluster up, but you don't have access to etcd, really. You don't have access to a lot of the underlying control plane components, which is probably great for 99.9% .9 of organizations, <laughs> right? Like, to be honest, and that mixed with, depending on the cloud, easy to spin up cluster right? They're part of node pools that give you container optimized like operating systems under the hood. The networking's kind of laid out for you. You have a path to expose the Kubernetes API and they have deep integrations, mm -hmm. which is another key point. Like AWS IAM is kind of like baked in Azure AD. Like these things work well with managed Kubernetes out of the box. When again, you build your own, you're doing it like all by yourself. So wow. like GKE inside of Google is a good example of like, they have tons of features that don't even exist in Kubernetes proper, like shielded nodes, workload identity, actually using the built-in KMS functionality of your cloud to encrypt secrets that then get persisted to etcd. Those things are very hard to do in your own DIY clusters, but managed makes it easy.